and onto the southeastern part of the country. The Joint Security Task Force in Imo State, Southeast Nigeria, has achieved significant success in countering dissidents operating under the IPOB ESN umbrella. Operations included dislodging the group from Eke Otutu Market in Orsu local government area and reclaiming the Mother Valley, the operational headquarters. Trustee Vis Ajibade Praise was there and filed in this report. Currently, I am standing at the Osu Hitokwa community, specifically at the Ekeotutu Market Road, where uh, the dissident over some time now had occupied. But as we speak right now, this place has been reclaimed by the military and uh, the people of the community now have cause to rejoice again. If you can look uh, here, uh, used to be the market, you know, where a lot of the traders do come there to transact and do their businesses. But ever since they've not been here because the place has not been safe for them. But right now, as we speak, following the operation, the successful operation of the military, I think normalcy has returned. Led by the brigade commander of the 34 Atlari Brigade, Brigadier General Usman Lawal, the Joint Security Task Force comprising personnel from the Army, Navy, Air Force, Police, DSS and other sister agencies has made significant strides in recovering illicit items from the dissidents operating under the IPOB ESN umbrella in Emo State. During the operation, the seized military wares, firearms, ammunition, locally made explosive CCTV cameras, used for monitoring security forces, stolen vehicles, and Biafra Antem leaflets, among other items. The successes were attributed to the leadership of the General Officer Commanding 82 Division, Enugu, Major General Hassan Taiwo Dada, who visited the location for an on-the-spot assessment. The immediate uh, requirement now is for the communities to take ownership of their communities which we continue to support them. And this is based on the strategic guidance that we are receiving from our very early chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Tari Lagbajan, that has mandated me to come and appreciate the troops. General Officer Commanding GOC 82 Division Enogu and Commander of the Operation Udoka in the Southeast, Major General Hassan Taiwo Dada, commended the Joint Security Task Force for their efforts and assured them of the continuous support of the Army leadership of Lieutenant General Tarid Lagbaja. During his visit, Commander Dada interacted with returning residents who were beginning to return to their villages following the successful military operation. As a gesture of support, he handed over food items and other valuables for them to resume their normal lives. Process those people who have been arrested and uh, they, of course they will be made to face the law and we also will use them as appropriate in the conduct of our official operations. While the military and the police, alongside other sister agencies, remain resolute in the fight against insecurity in the state, the Governor Hope Uzodima-led administration is calling on the dissidents to drop their arms and surrender. He assures them of a better livelihood once they embrace peace. Ajiba de praise, Trust TV News, Oweri. You're watching the News Hour on Trust TV. We'll go on a quick break and we'll be right back.